and this is actually super cool. We are out on our north end of our hospital and of our property here, and we are standing in front of our Purple Martin uh, houses, essentially. Purple Martins are large swallows. So the males are this blue or, or purplish color, and the females tend to be a little bit more of a, of a brownish color. And they are birds that will actually make a pit stop here in Florida, and they're going to be making this pit stop on this very long, arduous migration that they take all the way down to South America. Purple martins are going to be using these nesting boxes uh, starting here in Florida in February, and then essentially they're going to be spending the entire spring here and then migrating down to South America kind of during the summertime, and then they're going to spend the winter down in South America and mostly in the Amazon basin. So once the purple martins arrive here in roughly about February, um, these gourds are going to be home for the families. They can have anywhere from three to eight eggs, and the babies are going to be incubating inside of those eggs for about 16 days. And then once the babies hatch, it takes them maybe about 28 days in order to fledge from that nest. So the entirety of their life cycle here in these gourds is probably about a month and a half. So most people are probably wondering, if you look at these things, like why do we even have these? Um, and the main reason is actually because purple martins are cavity nesters. So they're going to be nesting in potentially cliffs and in rotting uh, trees. But over the years, there's just not that many of that kind of stuff left over. So we put up these man-made boxes. And the cool thing is, is they're in the shape of gourds. And that kind of goes back to way back in the day when Native Americans used to carve out gourds and hang them around and the purple martins would nest in them. So we kind of stick with that shape. So essentially purple martins rely almost entirely on man-made structures like this in order to breed and in order to nest. So we provide these which will allow those purple martins a safe place to have their babies. So Audubon Everglades had generously donated these purple martin nesting houses to Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, and we are really grateful to have that collaboration with them. We like to check on these birds because their populations are actually declining. They have declined about one third in numbers in the past 50 years. So having an opportunity to where we can be purple martin landlords and promote healthy populations here is a really cool opportunity that we get to have here at the sanctuary.